Look at that awesome shirt right there, and how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. Loving my II Arcade, and I love Sega. There are several Sega games on this device, not just Genesis games. We're talking about maybe arcade games that you didn't know existed from Genesis games. Like, you played them on the Genesis, but you didn't know there was an arcade game. There's several of them on this device, um, and we're going to cover all of the best Sega games, because we're going to cover all the Sega games, because Sega's the best, right? <laughs> we're going to see what Sega games they have. I know it's funny, we have a Nintendo here, we're talking about Sega. But we're going to talk about the Sega games that are available on the II Arcade. They're all worth checking out, and here we go. So not really published by Sega, but Wonder Boy, The Dragon's Trap, what well, says Sega? It says Sega. It's on here. I had to talk about a .emu and, and Lizard Cube doing awesome things with uh, Wonder Boy in uh, Dragon Trap here. But this game, I'm telling you, if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely worth playing. I mean, I just love the graphics, love the cartoony style here. And very similar, if you played the old school one, you'll recognize it. What I also love, you can go retro music. So here's like symphonic, sounds really cool. Hit this button. Right? And then even more so, hit this other button, and you'll go retro. So if you want to play it, you know, the old fashioned way, like maybe you grew up playing this one here. Totally fine. Hit it again. Ooh. It's kind of cool to see, you know, just to go back and forth to see what it looked like once upon a time. But it's on the fly and I love that. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> There's so much going on with this game. It'd be worth it for you to check this out. Got to talk about Bonanza Brothers here. Now, you may have played this on the Sega Genesis, maybe the Mega Drive. This is the arcade version. That's right, it came out in the arcade. And this is your arcade version, not your Genesis version. I've got to hit the insert coin button and everything. I know how to play this game. This game is just so fun. <laughs> the old school. Oh no, don't call the, don't call him, don't call him, don't call him. So you gotta shoot, you gotta jump, and you can also kinda go in the background here. That'll help you go upstairs if needed. I'm not gonna go up the stairs just yet. Guy behind the door, not a problem. Squish him. You gotta grab all the stuff, get all the loot before you can head out. Oh. I can't shoot him if he's right there. I can shoot him from behind though. No, oh, he seen he saw me. Oh no, 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 no. These things happen, it's okay. We will persevere. Great two-player game on this one, too. So if you have a second player... Ooh. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. I can't get him. Now I can. No. I am not doing well this time around here. Gotta get to the exit now. If it'll let me. Dude, I'm doing terrible this time. The good news is... I mean, unlimited credits, right? So... Hit the, hit the coin button, and you're back in action. <laughs> Hop in the airship, make your escape, on to the next level. I just, I love that, I love opening the door. Don't slip on the banana peel! <laughs> I don't know, just, just a lot of fun with this game, and like, yeah, again, like I said, you can have two players at the same time, so then you both get your own screen. I mean, I can't play both at the same time, but that makes it so much easier for you. Definitely worth checking out. Bonanza Brothers, gotta grab it. I mean, come on, how are you gonna nice Space Harrier? The arcade version of Space Harrier. This game's hard to play with a D-pad, just by nature of what this game is. But with the, the joystick, very responsive, I love it. Got the multiple buttons, you can just kind of keep on holding them down. Oh, or you can also hold it to run into a rock there. Good lord. You can hold down the button too, if that's going to help you out. I still like kind of doing the manual shooting. Good lord. Press it rapidly or just hold the button down, you'll just kind of shoot them at a pretty steady pace there. I still like just doing the, the manual button press. Just doing a wave of bolts all at once. And on this one, not really in lieu of credits, but the cool thing about this Space Harrier, and, it, and the arcade version of Space Harrier, is when you do your insert coin button, it'll just get you more lives. You got three lives down here in the corner. You can just really rack up the lives there as much as you need. <laughs> as much as you want to play this game, go for it. I've always loved this game, love the art style, love the music. I do not love running into fireballs from giant dragons though, but you know. But Space Harrier, an absolute classic. And again, as many lives as you want, just keep hitting that insert coin button. That's all you need. Of these giant creepy heads. 
I love me some space here. Glad it's on here. Got Crackdown. Crackdown as well. Cool little cinematic here at the opening. And this one is gonna be a little bit slower paced, but I love it. It is also two players, you can tell. I could actually bring on the second player just as so you can see. <laughs> they're gonna start somewhere else. See, they're, they're, they're down there. I could, I could go find them, I suppose. Destroy all the enemies on screen? Sure, why not? Gotta plant the charge there. And you can see the whole map here of where you need to go. The arrows tell you exactly where you need to place your uh, your charges. You know, since you can't really duck, you can go up against the walls to uh, avoid fire as needed. Another place right here. Can do. And looks like we got one more. There we go. Now leave. <laughs> all right, I have escaped. But this guy needs to escape now. <laughs> I need to escape. Here, I'll just start playing this guy over here on the second controller. See if I can make it in uh, two minutes. I'm pretty sure I can. Fortunately, this stage isn't too big. Come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. Almost there, almost there. We're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Oh no, we didn't make it. Fortunately, start right where we were. There we go. We made it. And then it's just gonna speed up the process, if you will. <laughs> I love it. And again, with two players, unlimited coins, unlimited credits, unlimited tokens, two players simultaneous, what a great thing to have at a party. Just play this game all the way through. Gotta check out Crackdown. Congo Bongo, absolutely one of my favorite arcade games and one of my favorite games from Sega. I wish they would bring this back. I've mentioned this on my channel a few other times before, talking about other Sega games. It is, I mean, the easiest way to put it, it is their answer to uh, Donkey Kong, but it's in 3D, the isometric. Get off me, monkeys. That's the wrong way. Didn't mean to jump down there. And there are several stages. I think there's a total of four stages. Don't let those things bonk you on the head. Come on down. Bump the monkey, unfortunately. You gotta jump over the river, but you can't jump very well if you have those monkeys on you. So you gotta shake them. There we go. I think we got it here. Oh no! So close! Oh no. If you get three, three monkeys, will <laughs> all three of them will dump you off the cliff. Do you love that? There we go. Finally, <laughs> it only took nine credits. No, I'm kidding. And then you move on to the next stage. And each one has a little, I mean, kind of similar, but a little something going on. But still with the isometric, still with the obstacles. Now well, the snakes in that case. There's four stages, man. I I just love this game so much. Classic old school and still fun today for sure. We have Alien Storm. I recently featured this in the best games for the Sega Genesis as well. And it came from the arcade. It was an arcade game. We didn't have it in an arcade near me, so it's cool to see what the arcade game got. I know it from the Genesis game. So you play the arcade game, and the arcade game is slightly different. I'm gonna play as the robot this time. And if you're still not familiar with it, there's these aliens everywhere. So you gotta destroy them. You gotta defeat them. It's kinda like, a, it's a, you know, side-scroller, kinda like a beat-em-up here, but you know, this guy has the, the whip and the guns and stuff. The other people have their own guns and grenades. And because of the camera placement, I also got to play this game at an awkward angle. So it's, that's my excuse for not doing as well as I usually should, right? <laughs> got to have it. Got to have that excuse. You don't jump. You roll. That's, that's your evade. You can also roll an attack. And you can also blow yourself up. Well, he does anyway. <laughs> Everyone has their own. Oh, creepy. Everyone has their own, um, you know, destroy all enemies on screen or hurt everyone. Last minute desperation, but still super fun, man. I love this game. And cool to see that I, I honestly didn't even know they had an arcade game version of this because I've never seen it at the arcade. I love the Genesis version, though. And there's, and there's a couple of differences. It's not exactly the same to go into the stores. And then it turns into this screen, too, which this was always a fun part of the original one. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm not doing very well. Go figure. Oh man, I love I love Alien Storm and oh, do not take them away. Good news is you can add in more coins, but do not shoot her. <laughs> then on to the second stage. What is going on there? <laughs> Aw, the little dupe. Oh no, it's all right. I'll blow myself up to blow them up. Got it. <laughs> Check out the Alien Storm. Recognize that guy there. There we go. The arcade version of Shadow Dancer on this device here. I'm telling you. Shadow Dancer, it was a great <laughs> right through the security gate with your wolf, no problem. And your, your, your throwing stars, your sword, sure. I mean, 
come on, you know what this game is, it's Shinobi, it's, but, you know, it's just another, I like this one, it reminds me a little bit more of the arcade version, it reminds me a little bit more of the arcade version than, like, say, Revenge of Shinobi, you now have double firepower, but, I mean, Revenge of Shinobi's great, and this one's super great, too, can't go right, oh, right in the face, you see that, alright, I got one more bomb I gotta save here, you can little see your counter up in the corner, you can also do this, too. That might help you out. Didn't really need to use it right there, but I just wanted to show it off. The guy throwing knives is a problem. Send the door. Send him. He'll hold him for you. Go to the next stage. Let's do it. And then on to the next stage. This is kind of fun to see the, you know, the arcade versions of all these classic Genesis games. This one, no exception. I'll do this again, too, just for fun. Here, go watch this one. <laughs> there we go. Here's eSwatch, Cyber Police eSwatch. This was another game on the Sega Genesis, but the arcade game even better. It actually tells you the sequence of, you know, the different people that you need to go through, and then the stages, fourth stage. Let's see if we, let's see if we can get the, this time. Let's see if I can't get shot in the face several times in a row. When in doubt, go for the knees. What is this guy doing? Get out of here. Oh, that's not good. Really, you gonna do that to my face? Oh, come on. I should've saw that coming. There we go, got him. Arrested, get out of here. All right, so that's stage one down, but you wanna to get to this final stage, the fourth stage, you'll get your E-SWAT, if you will. You know, I was thinking about this game, and I was just like, I didn't really realize exactly how much like Shinobi this reminds me of. I loved the original Shinobi at the arcade, and this one reminds me a bit like that, where you have like the different stages, the different platforms. You know, you're, you're doing the right thing by shooting bad guys in the kneecaps. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if they teach that in the force, but you know. Game over? No, it isn't. I just hit the insert coin button. Don't shoot the girl. I'll do my best. Oof, there we go. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Throwing knives at my kneecaps. Getting re revenge from all the bad guys I've been shooting. <laughs> Look at this Braun Strowman looking guy. Come on, I should probably be jumping over those, right? The unfortunate thing is when you have unlimited continues, when you have unlimited credits, you don't mind just dying. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't mind just <laughs> going through the game and just like, oh, no problem, I'll just hit the button again. Here's the fun part now. I get to play as the uh, E-SWAT, which is kind of your um, little suit. And that looks interesting. But it's kind of cool because it takes damage along the way, too. So you have, you know, that. There's my little... I'll, I'll show you what that is here in just a moment. So, and the more you take damage, see now, like, parts of my suit's disappearing. Which means it's not very well made. <laughs> You'd figure for all these guys that are shooting at you. You'd figure it'd be a little bit better than that, but it does give you those extra hit points for sure. And then well, I'll go ahead and use my crash here. Oh, there we go. That's all it is. I'm a huge fan of this uh, game, eSWAT, and glad that it's available, the arcade version on the I Arcade. And I thank you for watching. I do love me some Sega. You can check out these other Sega videos as well. The best Sega games on the Genesis. You want to check out that video. And I've also done other videos on the IIRK. So make sure you check that out too. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you super soon.